And now we have the testimony of um, uh, Gil and Angela Leija. We're going to share a message on the capital campaign, their testimony. Good morning, my name is Gil, this is my wife Angela. And we're here to share uh, with you about how the capital campaign impacts us here at St. Elizabeth and what St. Elizabeth means to us. When we came here 20 years ago, most of these buildings were here already. And so we were very grateful to all those folks that came before us to be able to lay the groundwork in this beautiful church also. Um, when we got here, uh, we only had our two-year-old son and we sat in the front pew right up here to make sure that he could see uh, what was going on on the altar. And he was so interested that he stayed focused uh, fairly most of the time uh, during mass. And uh, our as our family grew, uh, we did experience the community here of faith at St. Elizabeth. We have three sons, and they all received their first communion in this church. I'm sure many of you have been here for your own child's first communion, and it sounds like there are several to come. Our boys participated in religious education in the old building. They experienced vacation Bible school when we were bursting at the seams in this parish. When the new building was built, we were so thankful that there was a youth room for the kids. When our two oldest received the sacrament of confirmation, we felt blessed to see the support that they had received here in this community. This parish has done so much for our children. Gil and I have attended Bible studies, marriage encounter enrichments, and other meetings and events here. I had the amazing opportunity to be a sponsor for Darren in the RCIA program. I met him at the first class, and I was very blessed to be part of his faith journey and to learn so much about my own faith. We've been to many gatherings in the parish hall where we made new friends and ate delicious food. All of these experiences were opportunities for us to grow in our St. Elizabeth community and our faith. If you've never attended an event here beyond Mass, I encourage you to look at the bulletin or online and to find what you might be called to do. This is a wonderful community of people who are growing in their faith together. After 20 years, we see that our parish has grown and continues growing. We are still bursting at the seams, and this is a wonderful thing. There is always room at the table. The problem is, we're running out of space for the actual table. We have an opportunity now to create more space and in turn serve more people. That's what our parish capital campaign is about. As a community, we all have the opportunity and the responsibility to help others grow in their faith. We need your help. If you haven't already made a pledge, please prayerfully make yours. We cannot rely on only a few to support our parish financially, nor should we. This is your parish. It's our parish, and we all have the opportunity to help it grow. For 20, for 20 years, St. Elizabeth has given us so much. We are grateful to all of you who inspire and support us in our faith. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey. Well, thank you, Gail and Angela. Um, I just wanted to say on the capital campaign, I mean, we had a meeting with the diocese about the projects that we have. So we presented the first phase that uh, you have here, the first phase um, for the new building, the religious education building. We haven't finished that building. Now we need to finish the second level of the, this building that is a uh, formation for kids, religious education for kids. Um, the diocese, um, when we met with them, we asked them for a loan and they told us that they cannot give us the loan yet until we reach this goal. <laughs> There's 2.7. They say, when you meet that goal, we'll give you the loan. And, uh, and then uh, they told me, they said, you have to finish this building. You know, you have to finish it. Uh, so they were demanding on me that I had to finish it. 
And, and I say, yes, I can finish it if you give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they are not going to do that. So, <laughs> so I need your support. I need your support. Um, I was talking with uh, uh, a couple not too long ago, and they said, Father, we are generous to the parish because, um, you know, this is our community. And in another parish that we were before, the pastor used to talk about the importance of giving, you know, giving to God, giving what we can. And this pastor said that uh, sometimes we spend, you know, more than one hour of work in a restaurant and we don't give it to the church. So I think now is the opportunity to support that parish. And I ask you to commit. We had 12% of our parishioners committing only. You might be afraid. You might say, well, five years is a long commitment. Well, I mean, do what, what you can. Be generous as much as you can. Make this commitment. If you cannot make it on the way because something happens in the family, you can uh, withdraw from it, you know. But um, just do what you can. I want every one of you to participate. This is important. So do something about it, you know. Because it's our parish, it's our community, and you are the ones who are staying in this parish, you know, your children, your grandchildren, so that's a legacy for them as well. So I ask you to support this campaign. There will be a table outside on the breezeway. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the campaign, they will be able to help you with that. If you want to make a commitment, they will be able to help you with that as well. So I, I, I also want to be grateful to all of you who have supported our campaign. We are here now to million. We were, not too long, not too long ago, we were at 1.7. We are almost at 2 million. We have 1.93. You know, that's what we have right now. So if you continue to support, we'll get there, okay? So thank you for considering this. Take it to prayer, think about it. And then please respond to our plea, to our campaign. Amen. Amen. Oh, another thing that I forgot, Dico just reminded me, you know, I'm meeting with people as well. You get a phone call asking me, asking you to, uh, to meet with me, or Father Enrique. We're going to be talking about the campaign, so don't be surprised, okay? So I might ask you directly, um, if you respond, I'm going to call you. <laughs> But if you have a respondent, I might be calling you to meet with one of us, you know, so you can support that campaign. So thank you for your support.